just slim and ride. I'm coming down to the room on the damn south side. I won't play no more. I won't play no more. Episode three of the hot seat with Don P. Uh, thank y'all for all y'all overwhelming support of uh, other hot seat with Don P. Man, I really appreciate y'all. The last couple of episodes have been well. My first two episodes have been incredible uh, with my son, and then I had Gina and Rochelle on last week. I think that one is at like 11k views now. So I really appreciate y'all. But today I wanted to switch it up a little bit <coughs> and. Uh, had like a man cave talk, like it, like we in a barber shop, and uh, I brought on two of my my good friends. One friend that I've been knowing since I was I don't even know, <coughs> probably about, probably about 16, 16, 17 years old. Uh, BJ man, what's going on, everybody? What's up, BJ? Uh, let them know your social media handles, where they can find <laughs> you at, all that good stuff. Uh, y'all can find me at uh, Hundred Bands BJ. That's it. That's it. Hundred Bands underscore BJ. I bet. And then I have my man Ken to my left. Um, Just met Ken, but feel like I've known him forever. Ken, what can they find you at? Uh, they can find me on Just Hoop TX on Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, personal is uh, KCow182. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, so I brought these two fellas in. Number one, because um, uh, they are part of this men's league that I play in. Obviously, I'm hurt right now for those people that keep up with me uh, on the <laughs> poor horseman. But uh, I play in this fantastic um, 35 and up men's league. And um, I mean, it's one of the most incredible leagues that I've been a part of. And I've been I've been playing ball in the city for, for quite some time. And um, the first thing I want to jump into with them is, is it hard to run a men's league, Ken? Is it hard? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What, what, what makes it difficult running the men's league? Um, I mean, we're in the people business. Yeah. So... I think when you're dealing with so many personalities and uh, on a day to day basis, that makes it the the toughest. Trying to please everybody, make sure everybody's comfortable, mm -hmm. um, enjoying themselves, right? And then uh, you don't realize, I guess, kind of the the ass that come from the older generation. Gotcha. Um, you know, they just everybody wants what they want. We we're at that age now because it's the older league. Mm -hmm. We're so set in our ways that we want things done our way. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. just trying to make sure everybody's on the on the same page and and pleased is probably one of the toughest things in the men's league. Gotcha. What you what you say, BJ? Yeah, it's definitely tough, man. <laughs> you know, I've been running them leagues for a long time. Right. These tournaments, man. You trying to accommodate everybody? Time. Mm -hmm. Trying to collect money. Yeah. <laughs> That's the worst part. <laughs> do 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 friendships, like if you have personal relationships <laughs> with certain people, does that play a part in it too? Like you try to look out for them the or money you part? try the money part <laughs> or the or the, the the time frames of when when the games are played? Yeah. All that. Sometimes it, it can. You know, yeah. like if I'm running the league and, and you say, Hey, BJ, I, I I can't play no game. I can't play before six thirty. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna make sure you get games after six thirty. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Now on the money part, on the money side, it just all depends on, you know what I'm saying. How, how we how we calculate it out. You yeah. know what I'm saying. If you say, hey, look, I'm gonna chunk you this much now, mm -hmm. then give me this much amount of time to get the rest of it. Mm -hmm. Then yeah, I do that for you. But okay. I mean, you can't do that for everybody. Nah, yeah. for sure. So it's kind of, it's <laughs> yeah. kind of like first serve, first serve, first first come first serve basis, especially with your friends. Yeah, with your friends. Yeah, yeah you know. But uh, ask first. Yeah, you can't. You know, like I say, it, it's different. If Ken come to me and in, in you know, my alumni league, Ken, mm -hmm. hey, I'm put a team in. You know, but I got this going on in this league. I'm playing in this league. I'm playing in this league. Mm -hmm. I want you to play. Right. So, yeah, I, I'm gonna look out. So you might not you the the three week window I give everybody else. Mm -hmm. Ken might get a six week window. Gotcha. <laughs> you know sense. what I'm saying? Or you might get a six week window. Yeah, for sure. So you know, it just it just it just varies, man. With 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 I guess like with the friendship. I guess it meant varies. So Ken, let me ask you this: When was Just Who created? Why was it created? And what do y'all look forward to it going in the near future? Uh, so Just Who was created 2017-18. Okay. Um, and we started the league. We we were all playing in leagues uh, over across the city, and uh, we just wanted to start a league kind of on our own mm -hmm. to take a lot of the politics out. Um, you know, we were playing in different people league. They had tough. Tough time getting <laughs> gyms, mm -hmm. uh, tough time keeping schedules. They were playing in in gyms that had little leagues going on, so the times were never starting on time. Gotcha. Um, so it was more so to give us an outlet 
to be able to play without all the politics involved and, you know, be able to just hoop. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> it goes together, right? Yeah, for sure. Um, and so what what's the future looking like for just hoop? Like what what's the growth looking like? Um, so right now, you know, we I think when we originally started, we probably had six to eighteen. Mm -hmm. Um, now we got seventeen, eighteen. Wow. Okay. Um, with the waiting list. I was just about to wow. say we're the waiting list. <laughs> wow. So the growth is, I mean, exponential when it comes to it. We've been hit up about, hey, man, how can we do something like this in our city? Mm. Um, you don't realize how many people, adults, want a, want a league like this yeah. uh, in other cities, but just don't know how. Wow. Incredible. So, so what, what I tell Ken all the time about his league, mm -hmm. like, man, it ain't no other league in the city as competitive as this 35 and up. That's, it's crazy. That's what like, I well, say people, too. People, people, people mistake this when they hear 35 and up. They definitely they do. They thinking like, oh man, that's an old man league. Yeah. We finna get out here. And, nah. <laughs> you're not nah. coming in. You cannot come in here fresh off the street, off mm. the couch. Oh no. At 40 years old and think that you finna do what you did 10 years ago. Yeah. It's not happening. Not and you gonna all. come in there and get blasted, <laughs> <Yeah>. man. <laughs> they will expose you quick. Yeah, for and real. it's gonna be on tape. It's yeah, gonna and it's going to be on tape. Be so, man, this is one of the, the – the this is probably – man, I ain't never looked forward to playing in a league right. other than 35 and up. I can say the same. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, this, the, the buzz and the hype behind this league mm -hmm. is 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 unbelievable. Like, we we, we didn't play in a bunch of leagues, Yeah, yeah for sure. Together, yeah. against each other and everything. Yeah. We, we, we never played in this type of – Atmosphere, must, bro. It's organized. Atmosphere, yes, everything. Like uh, you can really appreciate that when you're spending uh, time away from what could be fam more family mm -hmm. time. Everything. Yeah. Everybody wants things to be on time, ran professionally, and everything. And I think yeah. this league definitely gives For that. Sure. So, so Ken, just kicking it back to you um, with just hoop and the growth of it. So. Uh, you also do jerseys, right? Yep. You do jerseys for everybody. I know that that's a big thing. Um, what other question that I have for you? I'm going to kick it to BJ. Tell me about your alumni league that you have coming up, uh, which will be starting when we release this, actually. So tell us Thursday. about the alumni league. Man, um, so, man, a few years ago, I got into playing in the alumni tournament. They used to have an alumni tournament every every year, same time every year. Mm -hmm. I think uh, Jim Hicks, well, not I think, but Jim Hicks used to do it. Oh, yeah. And, uh, man, for some reason, like the last couple of years, we ain't had it. Mm -hmm. So I was like, man, what happened to the alumni? You know, that's good camaraderie. You know, you get to go back and play with your old high school teammates. Yeah. You get to go, you know what I'm saying, fellowship against the other schools you play with. You kind of relive that old rivalry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The Sterling Worthing rivalry. Mm -hmm. The Yates Madison mm -hmm. rivalry. So I was like, man, we need to bring that back some type of way. Right. So I reached out to Ken, you know, Ken, the guru of the gyms around right, here. For sure. For sure. For time. Sure. You know what I mean? So <laughs> yeah. I hit Ken, was like, hey, man, look, I want to do the alumni league and I want to do it at the gym we playing at. He was like, man, say less. Oh, man. That's so beautiful. when he said that, you know, it was it was just a kind of a thought. Yeah. I kind of had it in the back of my mind I wanted to do it. Mm -hmm. But then I was like, nah, I don't know. But when I hit Ken and told him I wanted to do it on Thursday nights, mm -hmm. man called me back instantly. See, it's done. It's done. You got it. Oh, well, I ain't had no choice now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so look, I started hitting everybody. Hey, all the old people that I played, I hit you first. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, get the Yates team, man. Get y'all boys, sure. get back together. Man, it, and it just came together real quick, man. Wow. It, it came like it, it came together within 48 hours. We man. had a whole league, man. Ten teams ready to go. That's that's incredible. Yep. Uh I want to commend y'all both because uh us black brothers in business, the way Ken looked out for you and the way I'm sure you will look out for Ken. Oh, yeah, Anything for sure. come to it. Like, that's big. That's that's real big. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't, we don't really have that uh, that much. You know, if somebody sees somebody shining, they'll try to keep the yeah. the things that they have away from somebody. So for y'all to come together and make that happen, I mean, that's 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 beautiful, bro. Yeah, so I got, a, I got a question for both of y'all. How important is it that time to get away from the family? And go and just play some ball. Like, how, yeah. how important is it to y'all? Man, they don't uh, get in no trouble now. Hey, nah, look up, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think it makes the the time home better. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because you get that. you get that time away. You get to yeah. forget about, you know, the, the kids, mm -hmm. the, you know, what's what's for dinner. You get to forget all that stuff for yeah, a man. couple of hours mm -hmm. and just talk cash noise to the fellas. Like, I don't, I mean, we hadn't even brought it up. We got a group chat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, for just hoop that I think probably kind of makes the league. Definitely. Um, Definitely. We play games twice a week, Monday, Wednesday. Mm -hmm. But when I tell you that chat is 
a live from man, man, chat, 5, 24 hours a day, five thirty in the morning till about <laughs> twelve. Yeah, but nonstop. Yeah. You can always find somebody in that chat that's willing willing to talk something. Yeah, uh, whether it's our league, hey, look, sports. If we fantasy. ain't got a storyline, we gonna make one. We gonna make yeah. one. Right? We gonna create. It. <laughs> that's right. We gonna create a storyline for sure. That that group chat. Uh, me just joining it probably about a year ago. BJ warned me. He said, Phil, I'm telling you, before you get into the group chat, it's nonstop. It's nonstop. Like, oh, yeah, right. All right. And I've been in there, and uh, it's been amazing. But it's fun, man. I mean, right. I think the group chat makes the league. It does. It, no, it you does. know what I'm saying? It For makes sure. it more competitive and everything. So what about Phil? Uh, with me, man, I think it's more of, man, I think, man, but my girl feel more safe when I'm at the gym. Yeah. <laughs> you know what no, I'm saying? Sure. She, hey, man, as long as she know I'm at the gym, she ain't got to worry in the world, but, you know, I mean, she can be like that anywhere, but yeah, man, I just feel like, man, that gym is 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 a safe haven for yeah. all of us, you know. Nah, for sure. Like, we get to that gym, man. Everything that we going through anywhere else, it, it don't even matter. It's t- it stopped. Yeah. Man, I man, I got to the gym at six thirty yesterday. Mm-hmm. We ain't played till nine thirty. Yeah, man, I'm just in there chilling. Yeah, you man. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it ain't nothing like just being in the gym, being around the game you love, mm-hmm. and, and then you got all your friends, all your homeboys that you've been knowing for the last twenty. 15, 20 years, yeah, everybody in the gym and just shooting shit, just yeah. talking crazy to each other and just making it competitive, man. Like, uh, again, like this, I'm telling you, like, this is probably, the, this this is better than pro am to me. It is. You understand what I'm saying? It like, is. the pro am, no, no knock against Casey, no knock against nobody doing no other program leagues, nowhere else. Mm-hmm. Man, just hoops, 35 and up is 35 BA. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The NBA at 35. <laughs> yeah. For up. sure. That's us, man. Like, For so, sure. Man, just being in the gym is just man. It's wonderful to me, man. I I I, I wouldn't want to be nowhere else. I want to be in the gym. I agree with y'all, man. Uh, getting to that gym, uh, uh, I mean, it's nothing like it. You you forget everything stops. You know what I'm saying for, sure. for that for that especially that hour that you playing, mm-hmm. or even getting there early, like you said you did the other day. Yeah. You're getting there early and just watching. That's it. So so speaking of that, tell me about your love for basketball. Like where did it start for you? And uh and and how important is basketball to you? Man, um basketball, I guess I think kept us out of a lot of trouble. I grew up in small town, Alabama, so okay. uh we were in sports kind of year round. Yeah. My mom was a, a Detroit Bad Boys Pistons fan. Oh wow. So okay. um she instilled basketball early. Wow. So I started playing organized probably four or five years old. Oh wow, okay. Um Moved out here in 04, mm-hmm. and I think a lot of the friends and my close friends that I have, I met through basketball. Mm-hmm. Wow. Um, you know, me and BJ met probably three, four years ago. Yeah. And BJ probably one of my close, we probably talk <laughs> five, six times a day. Right. Just all right, day. Right. Just all day. <laughs> yeah. just, you know, sure. with text, we we sharing ideas, yeah. like talking sports. It's just, just stuff. Yeah, just, man. But basketball kind of brought that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I think when you talk about the importance, it's – like the friendships that I have here in the city, mm-hmm. uh, I'll say ninety five percent of them started through basketball. So it, gotcha. you know, it definitely means a lot. Yeah, gotcha. What about you? How important is basketball to you and your life? Man, now, man, ba- I, man, look, my girl just told me the other day, you don't care about nothing but basketball. Mm-hmm. You, mm-hmm. If you ain't got nothing to do with basketball, you ain't doing it. Right. I'm like, man, yeah. But man, before that, man, believe it or not, man, I was a football player. Okay. I man, I played football all the way up until seventh grade. Right. I ain't touch a basketball until seventh grade. Wow. Like I, that was my first time picking up the ball, dribbling. Seventh grade. Bro. Wow, I never knew that. Seventh grade. Okay. Like that was my. I played football all the way to seventh grade. Yeah. Man, I just. Man, actually, I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's an older cat in the city. Man, he probably a legend. His name Ray Younger. Mm-hmm. Ray Younger stayed on my street. Mm-hmm. So. Um, shout out to Ray. Yeah, shout out to Ray Younger, man. That's my guy. Like. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we, you know, he was real cool with Vernon Maxwell back in the gate. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day. So, man, I come out the I come out the house. I I had my football in my hand. I'm mm-hmm. tossing it up in the air, catching it. And uh Ray, young sir, come here. You know, he got that little rash before. Mm-hmm. Young sir, come here. Mm-hmm. Where your mama at? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You mm-hmm. know, he used to like my mama. So, yeah. man, where your mama at? Mm-hmm. I say, man, she in the house. Man, you tell her, tell her for to take you to the gym with me. Like, mm-hmm. this is just out the blue. Mm. You know what I'm saying? This is my first time ever meeting Vernon Maxwell, too. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So he, man, just tell him for the take, tell him to take to the gym. I said, all right, cool. Mm-hmm. So, uh, man, we, uh, we, mean, we load up, we go down to the funded. Mm-hmm. 
and I'm sitting in there, man. I'm watching basketball, man. This was going like this had to be my. I was going to the A grade mm -hmm. that summer, and I'm going down there and I'm watching them play, man. Ray and Vernon Maxwell and all them pros playing. Mm -hmm. That's the that's that's the year that I I'm playing basketball. Fell in love with. I it. fell in love with basketball, wow. man. Cause I, I I always watched it. I mm -hmm. understood the game. Yeah, I always understood it. Mm -hmm. But I never really just played it. Other gotcha. than just going outside, just picking the ball up, shooting it on the goal that's, that was next door at Ray House. Mm -hmm. But I didn't take it serious until A grade. And that's that's like no trainer, no nothing. Mm -hmm. I learned everything about basketball by watching them. Wow. I mean, that's incredible. <laughs> yeah. That's incredible. Man, basketball, uh, basketball is one of them sports. I think all sports, though, man, it got so many life lessons. That can, oh, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? That, that, sure. That's uh. That just goes with life. It makes it easier to understand if you if you play sports. You, you can understand your weaknesses. You can understand your strengths. It's, it's a lot, man. It's a lot. But um, let's talk about your entrepreneurship, man, what that looks like for y'all. So tell me about all your, your entrepreneurship things that you have going on, uh, including just who, of okay. course. And, uh, yeah, just give us some information about it. Man, um, you know, it's surprising enough, like I said, not being from the city. I think I've. I've done pretty well as far as making connections. Um, we got in, got involved with, with Just Hoop about, so I guess like I said, 2017, 2018. Gotcha. Uh, started that, uh, building that, but also, you know, started the, the jerseys and things like that to offer the teams throughout gotcha. the league. Um, recently got into to home flipping. Okay. Um, so I was looking for other avenues to, uh, to make, you know, make money, um, kind of better myself and understand, you know, different assets aspects of the business gotcha. um actually went into a partnership on net with the guy that i met through basketball mm -hmm. um so just being able to kind of leverage those relationships wow um, man. that's incredible that's, that's big i mean i've finished finished school with a marketing degree mm -hmm. so my natural kind of i guess habitat is talking to people that's right and understanding and marketing and just you know networking mm -hmm. so being able to network and kind of build your you know your the people around you i think that's the kind of the greatest knowledge that we have is the people around us. Like you can pick up a lot of stuff from a book, mm -hmm. but just uh, being able to ask somebody, you know, running the league, I didn't ask, call BJ, man, hey, what you think? Mm -hmm. Give me your give me your perspective on things. So, you know, man. building building a business, mm -hmm. you have to be willing to, you know, bump your head a couple of times, but yeah. ask a question. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't know, somebody next to you may know. No, for sure. Um, so I think that's, you know, the, the entrepreneurship thing is starting kind of from scratch uh, mm -hmm. without knowing what you're doing. You know, a lot of times it's just trying to figure it out and ask questions. And, you know, no, nah, you're absolutely right. Now, before I kick it to be, <laughs> let me give y'all a rundown <laughs> of my man. Right. So 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 me and BJ been been friends for a very long time. And I mean, every single year that I've known this guy, <laughs> he has come up with a plan to make money um oh, all legal ways we're talking about legal ways whether it's basketball whether it's clothing i mean so many different yeah. things man. He's no come, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> nothing illegal Forget nothing illegal <laughs> but man just i always give him a compliment man i tell him yo bro you are the most you, you have the most uh what do i want to say you had the most courage to do anything. Okay. A lot, a lot of, a yeah, lot of right. things that stop us from doing things is the courage to do it, and maybe not succeed. You know, you might fail, but this brother here, man, he he keeps turning the wheel. So, BJ, tell us about your entrepreneurship journey. Man, <laughs> man, I think it started. Matter of fact, it did start in two thousand fourteen. Man, mm. remember I had black cocaine. Oh yeah. <laughs> I had it. I had it. I wore it. I sure did. I sure did. Hey, look, man, it. look. The crazy thing is, when I started Black Cocaine, man, it was like, I just thought the name was so dope Yeah. that it was just, I, I just knew it was going to go somewhere. Mm -hmm. But then, a lot of people started, like, a lot of high up people, people in the league, police officers, everybody like, man, I can't wear that. Yeah. I say, why not? Because you say cocaine. It's a right. drug reference. I was like, oh, all right, so... You know, after that, that's what got my wheel spinning. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I was like, you know what? I, I maybe if I put something out that that's a little more appealing, a mm -hmm. little more marketable, yeah. then I might have something. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Cause with black cocaine, I was already selling. You were. It was selling, it was going. Mm -hmm. But it was it was just going to a certain a limited amount of it was a limited audience with it. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? But then I was like, okay, they might be right. Mm -hmm. I dropped that and then I 
picked up hundred bands. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so hundred bands just it just took off by itself. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I say I went and had to change my name on Instagram and everything. I said, okay, I got something with this. Mm-hmm. So every like you say, every year something different. Yep. Then boom, here I come. Love not included. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then that that start going. Now and, and, and explain what love not included is. That the man, hats, is that hats, is that's that t-shirts? hats, t-shirts, hoodies, jogging sets, uh-huh. everything. Like we, I got the whole nine with that. Mm-hmm. But uh, I came up with that because um, I mean, it, 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 I mean it's self explanatory. You right. know, everybody can relate to love not included. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You you going through a bad relationship? Mm-hmm. You trying to you, you don't care about a, uh, him or her no more? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Love not included. Time for me to move around. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You 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 in the streets? You yeah. you 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 on the block? You grinding? Yeah. You you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know it's it, you live by the street code. Yeah. Ain't no love in the streets. Even in business. Even in business. Yeah. Same thing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Hey, hey man, it's, it's it's like the Wolf of Wall Street around here, man. Yes, most definitely. You know what I'm saying? You got to get in where you fit in. So you can't you can't you know what I'm saying? You got to move with 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 certain type of. You know what I'm saying? Aura. So mm-hmm. love not included. I, gotcha. I'm, I'm trying to get to where I need to get to by any means necessary. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of how that came up. But man, look, I got clothes. I got I customized kicks. Mm-hmm. Man, I'm training kids. Yep. I'm running basketball leagues. I'm, man, I'm doing it all, man. So man, mm-hmm. if it's if it's a dollar to be made, I'm I'm gonna make it. Hey, well, I'm gonna try to get fifty cent of it. That's for them, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna oh. try to get fifty cent of it, man. But like, man, y'all, anything y'all need, y'all can find that on Hundred Bands BJ. Hundred Bands underscore BJ. H U N N I T B A N D Z underscore BJ. You heard the Hit man. me for you anything heard. you need. If you I heard. ain't got it, I get it. If I ain't <laughs> get it, I die trying. <laughs> <laughs> you heard the man. So, so look, um. As the world is spinning, man, I sit back and uh, my last two guests were two women, right? Yep. They're YouTubers. Mm-hmm. And I mean, they are, when I say, bro, they are um, killing it. <laughs> to to Just to just to, just to to sum it up, they're killing it, right? Yeah. And uh, black women are at the forefront of business, I believe, right now. Mm-hmm. Like, sure. they are, uh, especially entrepreneurship. And so, with y'all both being two black men entrepreneurs, like, what would, what type of advice would y'all give to a young black man who's kind of lost, can't find his way, uh, might not be um, uh, college educated, mm-hmm. but still has some ability? Like what what guidance or what what words of encouragement would you give that guy? Find something you enjoy. Yeah. Um, Shit, man. You know they all, they say you know when if you do something you enjoy you never work a day in your life. Come on, man. Um, Talking. So. Find something you enjoy, whether it be if you pick up a trade, work on cars, if you, you know, be the best at it, uh, tent windows, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. But if you enjoy it, I mean, you'll you'll right. be successful at it. Uh, the, the worst thing you want to do is get up and hate what you're doing every day. Right. So, absolutely right. Um, I mean, that's some great advice right there. Yeah, man. I mean, that's. I hate getting to work with little people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, BJ, tell me what you, out, <laughs> what you what you what you what give to that young brother looking for something. Man, that 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 young brother gotta find his niche, like Ken say, man. Find your niche. Find mm-hmm. what you like to do, and like he said, just to piggyback off that, man. If you find something you love to do, you'll never have to work in your life. Mm-hmm. Also, you gotta stay consistent. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can't let, man. You can't let a bad week. Interrupt your whole process. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Like me, man, I done had bad weeks, bad months, bad years. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, the the, the path, I never detoured the path. Gotcha. I'm I always stay on that path where I'm trying to go because, man, I don't want to work for nobody. Right. So what I'm doing, I got to stay consistent and mm-hmm. it got to work. Yeah. Ain't no if and <laughs> about it. You know what I'm saying? It the bills got keep to coming, huh? Man, them bills ain't stopping, man. <laughs> man. For real, for real. So, man, I would just say, man, just when you find something that you like to do, man, mm-hmm. just stay consistent, man. Just that's so. it. Just whatever you do, just keep putting it out there. Keep putting it out there. there keep putting go. it out there, man. Somebody gonna like it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And if somebody like it, guess what? Somebody else gonna that's like right. it. Mm-hmm. Then somebody else gonna like right. it. So guess what? It's gonna spread like wildfire, man. You know, if you buy it and wear it, mm-hmm. somebody gonna see you. It yeah. might not be in Houston. Mm-hmm. It might be somewhere else. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But just stay consistent. Keep putting it out there, man. You're going to take some losses. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're going to put some money into it. And you going might not get your money all the way back. Yeah. But at the end of the day, man, just keep grinding. Just stay at it. That's that's what I got. I, that's the advice I give because that's the method I took. Come on, you know man. man. That's that's the method I took. That's some uh, that's some great words. So, so anybody out there that's struggling, looking to find their way, man, don't give up. Find your niche. 
You heard what these fellas say, I'm still say, taking man. it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm still doing yeah, it. Yeah, you, know? you can do it. Every day, I'm still trying to reinvent that wheel, man. I'm trying to yeah. trying to make it happen for sure. So, yeah. All right. So, so let me get down to some important questions. This is one important question. Since we love ball so much, right? You're getting ready. You're getting your gym bag together. Putting your kicks in there. Socks, tights, whatever you got, right? And uh, you about to walk out the door and somebody yells, Oh, you going to play basketball today? Oh, man. Please. <laughs> uh, I need you to do something here at the house. Oh, oh I man. need you to do something with the kids. Oh. Has your woman, and how often does it happen that she says, don't go play, stay home, or don't go play, you might get hurt? What that, what that look like for y'all in y'all household? Oh, man. Ooh, um, man. It hadn't happened in a while. Okay. Okay. Um, but I say it it did happen in the past. Yeah. Um, but I think now we've gotten to that point now they realize this is your outlet. Okay. So that's this, beautiful, man. This, this is your time away. Mm -hmm. But trying to make that decision on the fly and you got your bag and they hit you with, hey, you really finna go play ball? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you start, you know, you start playing, what is it gonna look like if I go play ball and when I come back? Right. That's, that's the tough thing right there. That's the tough one. Right that's there. tough yeah. when you get home. Yeah. <laughs> you know, am I one. am I on the couch tonight? Uh, <laughs> do I need to pick up food? Right. Yeah. Um I'm already yeah. on the phone yeah. on the way back to the right. You need yeah. something. You need I'm something? Yeah, I'm already right. checking the temperature. <laughs> you want something I'm to eat? You to already check ate? The temperature on yeah. the way home. I'm just, yeah, you yeah. checking it. So <laughs> Yeah. I mean, if if you do exit that door, you better come back with a strategy. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got yeah. It. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, yeah, you got a food, you know, some fly, something. Yeah. Don't come in there empty handed. Yeah, you can't come in empty handed. That, that decision on the fly is tough. It man. is. It is. And, you know, I'd have had to make that call too, man. I ain't going to make it. Mm -hmm. After hey, you done already, you know, said I already you, told you, yeah. hey, I'm on the way. I'm going to yeah. play. We, what time? We, we start at eight. Mm -hmm. Bet I'm going to be out the door now. Yeah. 15 minutes later, you got to make the, hey, fellas, like, I can't Damn. make it. Man. And sometimes you got to do that. You got to. You got to. Sure, I've been sure. there before. BJ, what it look <laughs> wow, like for you? Man, look here, man. It don't even much. It don't even be before I walk out the door. It start <laughs> early in the day. It, For real. You playing basketball today? Mm -hmm. Like, damn. Yeah. I just have to think about it. I'll be like, I don't know. I'm waiting to see if they going to hit me with the game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I already know. We playing right. seven You days. already know the time. <laughs> I'm like, man, I don't, I'm gonna see if they hit me with the game time. Yeah. I'm like, wow, what you got? What you trying to do? Oh, nothing. That's when I know. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I know what time it is now. Hey, you gotta throw, you gotta throw them questions yeah. out there. All right. Let me check. Yeah, now sure. I gotta get on the phone and call somebody, man. How many we gonna have? Y'all gonna have enough? Yeah. yeah. Now nah, we, all right, well, yeah, they ain't gonna have enough. I gotta go out here and go play. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Some, but I mean. Yeah, man, it'd it be tough, man. Like, do y'all like, offer y'all ladies to come to the game? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Uh -huh. mine, mine, she on, she don't, she, she a football girl. Okay, you know what I'm saying yeah, she, yeah. she a San Francisco 49ers football. Period. Anything mm -hmm. got to do with football, she there. Mm -hmm. She like basketball, but she really can't. Un she she understand it, mm -hmm. but some shit she don't understand. Right, so, right. I yeah. mean, her being in the gym is just not what yeah. she. You know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm I'm trying to get away from me anyway. Yeah, but uh. I mean, if it's if it's a basketball tournament or something, mm -hmm. put me going out of town or something, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? She she gonna be there to support. You know, she gonna ask a million questions. Yeah, but, you know what I'm saying? She gonna she gonna be there. But man, just that getting out the house, yeah, it'd be kind of tough. So I, I asked that question to y'all because uh, one year 2016, I'm about to get to get ready to go hoop with the fellas, and I say, babe, I'm about to go hoop, and she said, Phil, don't go play today. Please just don't go play, <laughs> man. Cause you, you, I think you're gonna get hurt. I'm like, why would you? Why would you even think yeah. that? You know what I'm saying? She just said, I just had a feeling like when I woke up this morning, and and I, I was thinking about. It. I know women's intuition is strong, right? Right. It's, tough. Yeah. it's something that you don't want to believe, but you know it's true, right? right? For sure. So I go play ball. First game. This is just an open run. First game. Boom! Somebody, somebody kicked me. What yeah, was that? I was at um, I was we was at a uh, Saint Saint um, Saint Tom. I can't remember what gym. Nah, it was. I remember that day. I I I, I reached back and I, I remember thought somebody that. kicked me and I ruptured my Achilles. Yeah. And so the hardest thing wasn't even the pain that I was mm -mm. in. It was the phone call that I had to make to her to <laughs> say, "Baby, I ruptured my Achilles." Yep. I mean. I've been in trouble before, like yeah. in school with the principal, and, and you you did something wrong, or you get in trouble with your mom, 
It was nothing more scarier <laughs> than calling my lady and saying, baby, I broke because I'm out now. And we're, we're entrepreneurs, so we run a business. Right. So my health is dependent upon, right. you know what I'm saying, me being there. Yeah, and that, no that was crew. like, yeah. <laughs> and that was like, ooh, we. So I just wanted to pose that question to y'all. Yeah. So so now we're going to get into some rapid fire questions. I'm going to ask y'all some questions. Give me y'all answers, and I'm going to ask why. All right? Okay. All right. So the first question is chicken or steak? Steak. Steak. Why steak? Yeah, need that thing medium hey. well. <laughs> yeah. yeah my, <laughs> hey, my, uh, my listen, my, my wife make a, a mean, ooh, mean yeah, steak. That steak. Oh, bro. yeah? Oh, man. Listen. Bro, we just, I just had a steak like two nights ago. I uh, baby made night. that steak, bro. I'm talking about it. But, but I mean, but man, anywhere I go, if if, if it's steak on the menu, mm -hmm. I'm going to yeah. grab a steak. Okay. Yeah. Like, Same. It ain't yeah. it ain't got chicken whatever's on the menu. Yeah. I, steak, give me that. Yeah. Twelve ounce, sixteen ounce, don't even matter. Give I think me. at the age where we've probably had every yeah. chicken mm -hmm. and every way of chicken. Yeah, right. Uh, to this point now, so mm -hmm. we, yeah. we probably kind of outgrown that. I right, it's about to get tougher, y'all. I just <laughs> tried to start out easy. Set us up. Yeah, alone time, alone time or family time. Damn. <laughs> This recorded. <laughs> let this, get, this recorded. Let get, yeah, this is recorded. Don't get in no trouble now. <laughs> I, I wrote these questions. Both. <laughs> okay. You can, say, you can say both. You can say yeah, both. Yeah, you, both. You can say both. Explain why, though. She, because, man, look, I, I need my alone time. You know, mm -hmm. that's that's Madden. I, you know, me and Ken going to be in that mm -hmm. Madden. But, yeah. I mean, family time important, though. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. what keep, that's, you know, it depends on the family. Like, if you family with your kids and your Wife and mm -hmm. your girlfriend or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But mm -hmm. then if you got family with your sisters and your brothers and stuff, that's, I mean, that's two different family right. times. To right, meet. right, right. You it know is. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I think the most important family time for your household sake mm -hmm. <laughs> is being family time with your wife and your kids. So mm -hmm. That's right. very important. Okay. Yeah. Family time with your brothers and sisters and stuff, you know, you can do that anytime. You've been, they, you've been with them all your life. Right. You know what I'm yeah. It's different. I'm, I'm going to go both too. I think, uh, you know, the, the alone time kind of makes the family time better more special. Yeah. Okay. Um, sometimes you processing stuff by yourself that mm -hmm. may have happened with your family and hey, what can I do to make this better? Or, what are we gonna do? Or mm -hmm. you know, what we where we gonna go or figure something out. Yeah. Um, but at the same time I think you, you definitely gotta have that balance between the two. Okay. Um, My alone time, I'm thinking about some money. <laughs> <laughs> what I can do next. Well, hey, you know what? That leads into family though. Yeah, no, yeah for sure. Family, coming right? back yeah. to the house. Yeah, man. That's what's up. That's what's up. That was a good one. All right, here we go. Sneakers or bills? Shit. Sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bills. <laughs> Sneakers, man. Hey, hey, I posed hey, that hey, question hey, for them because I know both of my guys <laughs> love sneakers just weird. like this. Yeah, man, look. Sneakers or bills? Come on. Man, I need some I'm, answers, look, man. Sneakers, man. Sneakers. Fuck them bills. Nah, yeah, come on. Give me, some, like give me some, kid. <laughs> I, I ain't got the shit. <laughs> hey. So, hey, I'd have been to the point now I'm like, I'm gonna buy these kicks, but I'm gonna have to get rid of these right. to pay this. Okay, Jeez. makes sense. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna sneakers. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the the release date. Tell me about it. So, tell me what what y'all love for sneakers look like. Tell me about man, it, man. Listen, man, bro, man, I, I I I man, I'm gonna spend my last on some sneakers. What? Yeah. Man, please. It better not up. be the right ones. <laughs> <laughs> Look here, man. Right. There's some ones for the drop. Some OG yeah. ones. They yeah. dropping. Yeah. Yeah. And I got 150. Yeah. Hey, hey, let me borrow 30. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody better right. let me borrow 30. I can hey, get them. <laughs> hey, it, it's like that, man. Um, yeah. yeah. And don't miss a dropping where you got to pay a little extra. Woo. I'm going to pay that. I'm a, you got. You going to have to. Yeah. yeah. Stock yeah. got a bunch of my money. Right. I mean, think about the league. Mm -hmm. The first thing I know probably the us three look at when you come through that door and you yeah. step on that court. We checking out your kid. Yeah. Oh, for sure. That would let for me sure. know if you got hey, game or not. Yeah. He got them on. Nah, he can't go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, he got too much on. They got, yeah, yeah, too <laughs> much. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah. Yeah, that's too much. Yeah, I look man. at socks. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. If, How you wear your socks? If you got no show socks <laughs> on, <laughs> brother, I'm gonna stay away from you. <laughs> You, yeah, you you uh, you got on all black shoes, low cut uh -huh. socks, um, um, ankles. I'm yeah, still man, with yeah, fire yeah, away yeah, from yeah, that guy. Yeah, that's, that's, nah, you're for, for sure, trouble, man. For sure, for sure. But yeah, I, man, my love for sneakers is just like y'all, bro. I, I've I've matured definitely. Nah, for to, sure. To the fact to to the point where 
I think about what I'm going to buy. And I try to make sure that I buy the right shoe yeah. instead of every shoe. Yeah, yeah I'm I used to be every shoe. Yeah. I used to yeah. be every shoe. I did yeah. too. But now I'm more selective. Like, okay, I can I can get that. Or, I'm going to pass that one. But I'm gonna grab that. Yeah, there you go. There you go. And now with with the with the circulation of kicks, you can always go back and grab whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So you can always do what these other niggas do. (laughs) (laughs) After (laughs) pain. Man hit me the other day telling me, man, you know, you did after pay before. I'm like, after pay? What yeah, is you, that? You can use after you can pay, pay for them now. You can you can pay half now. I'm like, a, what? Where is that? Yeah, yeah, it's a bunch man, of things. Man, I'm finna stock pay, up. Yeah. After pay, <laughs> Colorado, yeah. all that. Yeah, you, man, got, you got four, now, four payments of $37.95. Come man, on, man. Come on, man. $37. Um, I ain't, and then I don't have to pay it back. <laughs> <laughs> Give me them $35 kicks, man. <laughs> all right, so let's go here. Um, health or wealth? Health. Health. Gotcha. Health, uh, for sure. You, why, if, why is that decision? If you ain't healthy, you can't get well. Can't get well. There you go. Yeah, that was simple. Straight up. Anything different, Ken? Nah. Same, same thing? Same. All right. Uh, All right. So about to get a little spicy here, fellas. All right. Lingerie or, or or straight to it? Just straight to straight it. To, <laughs> hey, yeah, we, hey, we too old. Hey, I ain't got time to be playing with you, girl. Yeah, let me pull. I, I got to pull this off to get to the end. I ain't got time to be playing with you, woman. We 35, uh, 40 years old, uh, man. We, 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 know what's, time, yeah, we know what's coming. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> Nigga might pull something hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Hey, how how many layers I gotta go through? Hey, we ain't got listen. I think you should be already yeah, ready. I know you gonna fall asleep. I'm ready. Oh my god, bro. I know you gonna fall asleep, man. Come on. Nah. Hey my god. So yeah, so, so straight to it is straight to it, man. Yeah. Shit, I ain't got time so, to wait. So y'all don't like lingerie? Hell no. Nah. Nah, now in instances. Okay. Okay. But to see you walk across with nothing? Yeah. Oh, I'm up. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready. I, 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 it, it ain't no, okay, let me figure out what you're doing. I'm you watching come you through, from the bathroom. Yeah, room, see. Right. You come through there with a robe on. I don't know if it's just, a, you, are you just right. chilling, just walking through the house? But I know if you in there with nothing, oh, right. Yeah, man, I ain't got ain't time nothing for to think about. <laughs> I mean, this motherfucker already ready. Yeah, she ready. Ain't going to take me but a no, second. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping my socks off. <laughs> I just need to see it. <laughs> hey, boy, it's funny, man. Okay, okay, okay. All right, here's another one now. Single life or married life? Don't get in trouble. This is just my question. Well, I ain't married no more. Okay. So, I mean, man, I pass. Okay. I ain't answering that. I'm going to say married, man. Uh, yeah. Okay. I guess the, you, you know, you get the. To build some with both of y'all, gotcha. At the same time, like you know, where whether it be financially, emotionally, mm-hmm. um, you know, kids, you getting to pour into the kids together. Because mm-hmm. um, I had kids before I got married. Gotcha. Uh, so being able to do that together mm-hmm. uh, is, is a little different than doing it on y'all. Well, yeah. hell, Ken, since you put it like that, this shit, <laughs> fuck it, yeah, yeah. married like yeah, that. yeah. Yeah, Cause I plan on marrying my girl right. now, so okay. shit, I mean, yeah. I guess you're right. You know what I'm saying? So nothing wrong with that. And nothing I wrong with that. Wrong with that. I love that girl. Man. Um, she better 90- watch this shit. Too. <laughs> <laughs> she go to it. Say what's up, sitting in the lake. I'm sitting in the lake. Nineties, nineties rap or two thousands rap? Nineties, nineties, nineties. Why, why y'all go nineties? I understand that shit. Okay. Hey. You you had the Tupacs, the yeah. biggies, yeah. like yeah, the, man. You can sit down and like you can ride to it and man. listen to a whole app. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like now I got my certain my certain picks for the for the new artists. Okay, like my little baby, mm-hmm. I fuck with Amigos heavy, mm-hmm. Future heavy. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Uh, Gunner heavy. Yeah, but a lot of that, a lot of it, I can't really just. I can't, can't ride it. to a whole yeah. album. Oh, like, yeah, I can't yeah. ride to a whole yeah. album. I can ride to a whole baby album. Mm-hmm. The yeah. baby gonna he gonna he gonna take me all the way to to, to New Orleans. Okay, if I'm yeah. if I'm finna go yeah, there. Five hour, yeah, five hours. Five hours. Yeah. I'm, I'm five hour little baby. Okay. All his albums, you mixtapes, like, whatever. You know you. what I'm saying? But that nineties rap, bro, that's that's the Wheezy's and you know no, what I'm yeah. saying? That's the Wayne squad, and the them, squad the squad up. And, the squad up. Man, that's, oh, ain't, ain't nothing touching that. Jay Z. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't really like Hove like that, but uh-huh. you know, you can put a Hove album on and just roll. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sure. That's really road music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for real. Most definitely. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm with y'all on that. I like I like nineties rock. I like two thousands too, man. I got I got younger brothers that keep me in tune, so I know. Shout out Laro, man. Shout out Laro. These young guys. Laro, that's, man. Coming, that's coming. That's <laughs> coming. But I, I love nineties rap, bro. I'm, yeah. I'm big on that, bro. It, was, it just looked a lot cooler back then to me, yeah. bro. Just yeah, from the, for sure. even the clothes and kicks and everything. But I throw on some R and B if I'm in the gym by myself. Come on, man. Nineties R and B or two thousand R and B for sure. Eighties R and B. I go all the way back. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Me too. You throw a silk or uh, man, uh, jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, no, man, come on. you right. You're 80s, right. baby. I'm 40, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All this new stuff, they ain't, they ain't singing. They rapping. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, All right. Church or personal prayer? Personal, personal prayer. Personal prayer. Yeah. And why y'all choose that one? Man, I just feel like you ain't got to go to church to believe in God. Okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Huh. Just God is, 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 man, you can, I can drop down on my knees right now and pray God. God probably gonna hit me. Yeah, yeah. nah. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I ain't gotta go sure. to church and give you thirty five dollars. Mm -hmm. Some of the biggest frauds in the church. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sure. No, I mean, this will be honest. Mm -hmm. I grew up in the Baptist church, and me you know too. some of the people that were in the church. You you see them out doing some of the. Some, you be like, man, you was just in church three hours ago. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'd have been cussed out by the yeah. pastor. Like, right. come on. And yeah. I think that's that's my biggest thing. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to walk in the church house. And when I leave the church house, I'm going to 50-15. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, people, man, you just left church, so? Yeah. yeah. I still got a social life, too. For sure. You For know sure. what I'm saying? But that, I think that's why my biggest thing about not, like, I don't go to church. I ain't yeah. been to church in, man, I probably 30 years. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? I've been at least about but 10 I, I was, the reason, my reason is because when I was younger, my grandma forced me to go to church yeah. <laughs> every Sunday. Uh, Wake up, get your ass up, we're going to church. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I, I I always told my grandma, when I get old enough to make my own decision where I'm going to church or not, yep. I ain't going. <laughs> Man, I got threatened. And I stuck to that. If you if you can go out on Friday night, mm -hmm. yeah. You can get up. I mean, on Saturday night, you can get up yeah, and serve the Lord on Sunday. I've heard that one. Oh, oh man. It depends on how much Hennessy I had. Uh, listen. <laughs> Gee. Okay. You okay. end up on no Sunday. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, I got a couple more questions here. Bar soap or liquid soap? Depend on if I how quick I need to get shot. Okay. But nah, for, uh, liquid. Um, so, yeah, we we use all of it. Hey, man, what kind we, of question is that? I, know, we, I, 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 I mean, we grew up on the bar soap. That's why I was saying. I think bar got, soap. Yeah, we got to enough a, I mean, a time now to, to spend I, a little man, money. Man, I ain't going to lie. I, I'm going to be 100% honest. Mm -hmm. I was using bars of soap all the way up until the last five years when I met Sam. Okay. Sam was liquid soap, like liquid so. Soap. Now I didn't got so used to it. Mm -hmm. I, I go to the store now, and that's all. I'm that's the first thing I'm grabbing is mm -hmm. Dove mm -hmm. in the bottle, yeah. not Dove in the bar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, yeah, I guess liquid soap now. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. So, um, one more question, man. Um, the most important thing when you're putting your outfit together is it your kicks or is it your outfit? My kicks. 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 Man, I'm with anything. Man. Them yeah. kicks got to be fresh. Yeah, you can throw kicks on the white tees. White, 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 white tees and some jeans yeah. or whatever. The, hey, the I kicks don't care gonna... what you doing, man. If your kicks ain't fresh, mm -hmm. man, you ain't yeah. doing nothing, man. The lady said that last week. Too. Yeah. I say, I asked the lady, I say, what's the first thing y'all look at? Kicks. Kicks, your yeah. shoes. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. yeah for real, for real. That's, that's what they right. looking at. Man, they don't care about nothing you got on, man. <laughs> they looking at them feetsies. <laughs> I'm trying to check them uh, feetsies out, man. Uh, BJ, I'm, I got this question for you. I kind of skipped over before we get out of here. <clears throat> um, your AAU basketball. Oh, man. How's it going with the girls? And, and that you're being on the girls' side. What does AAU basketball look like these days? Man. Man, it's 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 it's, it's they rolling, man. Mm -hmm. Like the the talent level from girls back in the from back then mm -hmm. to now, yeah, you can see a major shift in the talent. Okay, you know what I'm saying? That's because now you got more training. Mm -hmm. Back back then, you know, we ain't trained. You no, know, for what sure, like, we, we ain't we had training. Yeah, trainers. Yeah, we just got up and went to the gym and hoop. But now you got girls with trainers, so that's making them a little bit more better. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So now. The 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 gap between girls and boys is, is really closing. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I didn't seen, man, I didn't all this summer, man, I didn't seen some girls and I was just like, man, ain't no way. Mm -hmm. That's too tough. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, for the most part, man, I love it, man. Like, it was probably one of the best decisions I ever made. Wow, man. You know what I'm saying? And, th and that's getting on the girl side. Mm -hmm. Boys don't want to listen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But then, you know, I got a daughter that played basketball too. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of my push to get more involved in basketball mm -hmm. with the AAU. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So I started my own organization and everything, and 
Man, we we took off, man. We this was our first official summer. Mm-hmm. We started. I had I I've been having all my girls since seventh grade. Mm-hmm. Majority of them, maybe. Well, I got eleven girls. Mm-hmm. Eight of them I've been having since seventh grade. Okay, you know what I'm saying. So, um, <clears throat> COVID hit when they was in the seventh grade. Then carried over to eighth grade. Then a lot of them did uh, at home school. Okay, and they really didn't go back to play basketball until they all got to high school. So mm-hmm. now I took. All of them went to the same high school together. So I just took all of them back and just made them my AAU team. Okay. And uh, they all at Shadow Creek High School. And uh, they stopped going to this day sophomore year. Mm-hmm. But, uh, man, like, for our first official year, mm-hmm. like, being on the circuit, mm-hmm. like, doing a lot of traveling and everything, I believe we did we did more than what a lot of people expected us to do. And what's the name of that team? Uh, Houston Lady Ravens Elite. Okay. Yeah, we gotcha. out of uh, Pearland. Gotcha. So, before you go, mm-hmm. man, we played in ten tournaments. We went to the championship in six of them. Wow, yeah, that's incredible, bro. Yeah, played six, first year. seven, seven, seven of them. We went to the championship in seven tournaments. Mm-hmm. So we got we won two of them, and we got second place in the rest of them. Gotcha. So mm-hmm. for us to do that, our first year, man, I had people from all over asking me, "Man, where y'all from? We never heard of y'all before." Mm-hmm. Get used to him. <laughs> right, right. That's great, a, man. Hey, look here, man. I got a point guard in the center that's going to be the big deal. Oh, yeah? Oh, man. Yeah, man. Can't wait to see it, bro. Well, man, I want to thank y'all both, bro, for uh, taking time out y'all busy schedule to come sit with me, <clears throat> chop it up with me. Uh, tell us about these businesses one more time before we get out of here. Ken, go ahead. Just who? Uh, yeah. Just who, man. Probably the, the the biggest, best 35 and up you'll ever find. For uh, sure. You got so. pros, ex pros, mm-hmm. uh, wanna be pros. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> ain't no thirty five yeah, in the, the league. The, 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 average, the average Joes. Yeah. I mean, right. Monday to Wednesday is uh, six thirty to nine thirty. You can catch us on Facebook Live. Um, mm-hmm. We post a lot on Instagram. Just Soup Texas. Um, just Just Soup TX. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you're in the chat, I mean, pop in there at any time. Yeah, yeah. we we're so. gonna be live. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all the way sure. live. You think you nice? We in there six thirty in the morning on <laughs> Saturday. Six thirty on Saturday. Get up on Saturday morning, man. If you think you 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 time come quick now. Yeah. And where, where's the gym located? <laughs> uh, gym is at uh seventy three hundred Nordling. So we at New Spirit. Uh, okay. Past the games over there. Check them out on on Sundays. Uh, uh Wednesdays Bible study. Gotcha. Um, we can't thank them enough for the for the hospitality. No, we've sure. been, been over there for I guess a little over three years. Okay. Uh, great relationship. Anytime we pick up the phone and say, "Hey, man, we need the gym." Mm-hmm. Hey, Ken, you got it. That's a beautiful man. for sure. So, uh, and the gym is is nice. Very nice gym. I mean, NBA regulated court. Yep. Uh, NBA three point line. We brought the NBA ball in there this year for the league. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, yeah. They hate that, that's been that, a topic man. of discussion. Oh yeah. man, it has. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but we, you know, when when we playing everything NBA wise, yeah. we felt like why not. For sure, you yeah. nothing wrong with it, you know. And, and it hadn't, it hadn't taken off. Like I said, you got people you got to please. Yeah. Um. And everybody ain't pleased, but I think as we get on through the season, people ain't got no choice. It's, it mounts. It's yeah. basketball. Need some chalk. <laughs> Need yeah, we got chalk. one person that ain't like the ball at first. Now he can't miss with that mug. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Yeah, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. Dude. So, so B, tell us about all your your endeavors, man. Man, I got like I say, man, I got uh. Everything on the hundred bands umbrella, okay. you know what I'm saying? Like anything that I come up with is always gonna be on the hundred bands, yep. you know what I'm saying? So, right now, man, I'm trying to push this uh, Avenue Avenue Originals. Okay. That's 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 the next thing, man. I'm trying to. I need everybody to get on board with that, man. I think this is this is the one out of everything I done done. Mm-hmm. I believe Avenue Originals is gonna be the one. That's where you post it. Yeah, that's what's I, up. I think this is really yeah for sure. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, so 100 Bands, Just Hoop, um, TX. I mean, y'all hear it all, man. So if you're over 35 looking for what, somewhere to play ball, uh, get a can. If you need some gear, if you need your shoes cleaned, if yeah. you need them redesigned. Paint you, want paint. Re- you want to restore <laughs> yeah. them joints? Yeah. Bring them on to get, me. Get, get hey, look, and I can make them joints into some skates. You want to go skate? <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, get nah, them. He sure. do it all, man. But, man, thank y'all again for coming man, on the hot sure, seat man. with I, me, man. man. This has been a pleasure, man. I, uh, I hope to have y'all back on soon, man. Thank you so much. Me back, man. It's my first time, man. Doing <laughs> I know, this I'm in the studio. Hey, get us back in here, man. It's my son, Godfather, man. I got to beg this man to get on the show, man. Come on, man. What's up, dog? Yeah. Hey, we've been asking to put it together for a minute, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. It took time. Sure. It took yeah. time, but I got it together. Nah, nah, man. When you reached out, we like, One thing I can say about you, Phil, man, like, from, like, on some real shit, like, I just seen the growth. Yeah, yeah. From when we was... 
19, 20, yeah. all the way up until now, bro. You didn't you didn't you didn't grew so much. Yeah. And 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 I done seen your business, your business savvy go from here to here. Thank you, bro. You know what I'm saying? You, and and I just that. wanna give your flowers for that, bro. You Appreciate know what I'm saying? That. I seen it. First hand, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's 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 a, that's a, this is major stuff you're doing, bro. Thank you. And bro. I just want to let you know that, man. I'm support you, whatever you need, bro. As as always, yes, you know, you, you, know you, you always can call me and ask me for anything, yeah. any kind of advice. You know, I you know we even had our talks, yeah, for sure. So you know, it's always love, man. And yeah. man, I'm proud of you, bro. Thank you, man. I what appreciate you got that. going on, bro. I, I'm 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 with that, man. Man, for I sure. appreciate it, man. I know most people be like, I wonder what Phil shoot out of and what what he be. <laughs> So for y'all to come in and see yeah, myself, hey, yeah, yeah. how y'all like it. Hey, I love, love it, man. Love. Hey, I'm here, man. Looking at the videos and everything, you're like, man, Phil got a professional spot. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah for real. Yeah, yeah hey. man, we're making it happen, man. Yeah. Like I, I was telling y'all before, man, we started, we was we was in the middle of a junkyard at one point in place. But like y'all said, when I asked y'all about, you know, entrepreneurship, bro, we just had to stay consistent. Mm -hmm. Right, consistency, then, man. Then, that's, that's what it's worked, about. Worked his way out, man. So the message for this podcast, episode three, the hot seat is be consistent do something that you love right don't let nobody knock you off your dreams right go for what you know right hey, man, look man if you play madden man oh go ahead give if you, you game tag hey listen if you play madden mm -hmm. now nah, not my game tag oh no i'm just telling them, like okay if madden is what you love to do oh okay man find you some madden tournaments wow like, you understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, man, yeah. It's, it, man, people just making millions of dollars playing video hey, games, yep, man. Right. Yep. So if you if you don't want to get no job, you don't want to do nothing, man, be consistent at being a gamer. Mm -hmm. Get on YouTube, record yourself playing the game. Like that, all that stuff, man. Like everything that you do is you is, is a is a, a, a avenue for money. money. Yeah. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So, man, if you if you love playing video games, man, man, figure out how to turn that into a a, a revenue stream. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It, you can do it. Yeah, for sure. You know, but everything you do, just be consistent, bro. Yep. That's it. Yeah, we got to get out of here because I got to ice my leg. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but this been episode three with my yeah. fellas, with my guys, man, BJ and Ken, man. We out. Appreciate you. 